Wow, Yandere Dev did something stupid again. Who could have guessed? Damn. Anyways, I thought I was done covering this topic, but I guess stupidity simply can't be helped. And if you know me, I can't resist covering that kind of good stuff. But anyways, to be clear, I know that Apis and Game Sleuth have been exposed as also being scumbags. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. But for now, I'm just going to focus on Yandere Dev. I mean, those two situations were quite unfortunate to say the least, as I genuinely did have hope that Apis would, you know, not be a terrible person. But man, it's like this game genre is cursed or something. It's like everyone who tries to make something similar is just fated to have some nasty skeletons in their closet. Also, in regards to my last video, I do admit that I did get one piece of information wrong, meaning that it wasn't actually Yandere Dev that insulted the game's those glasses that was on me. However, I should have actually, you know, checked instead of simply going off screenshots, but the rest of my video still stands. So yeah, um, those were quite unfortunate events. I did have hope for Love Letter, but alas. Also, do keep in mind that just because those two have fallen from grace doesn't make Yandere Dev any less of a terrible person, right, that I did belittle a CSA survivor Republic on his blog, defending maps, and has said a bunch of really bad stuff in his past, and is currently mocking someone's legitimate mental illness and is stagnating on the process of his game again. The mental illness part is what I'm mainly going to be covering today, as it has caused some pretty big waves in the community, with mods withdrawing their support of him and all that stuff. I'm going to be going over the initial situation as well as the responses he gave and his attempt at an apology to the affected party. So, for some reason, if you still support Yandere Dev, I implore you to pay very close attention to this video. All sources of the information will be linked in the description down below. So with that out of the way, let's just get right into the video. So the inciting incident of all this was one of Alex's mods, Chris was in a voice chat. Now a quick explanation before I proceed with the rest of the video, Chris has DID, which in case you didn't know, is short for Dissociative Identity Disorder. It's a disorder that happens when, stemming from a traumatic event during the formative years of one's life, a person develops two or more distinct personalities or states of identity which may alternate as a form of coping. These personalities are called alters, and each alter has distinct personality traits, names, and overall identities. Alters do not share memories, so if one alter were to, say, attend a party, upon switching back the person would have no recollection of the event. Voices can also change under different alters, which is the case with Chris, and during the time of this voice call, Chris had switched to an alter known as Doppel, who does have a different voice. Yandere Dev entered the call with them and eventually became so uncomfortable with the situation that he just decided to kick Chris then and there, with several other people bearing witness to the event. Since it was a kick and not a ban, this mod could enter the server again, and since they had switched, they presumed nothing abnormal had happened, and continued on as if the event hadn't happened, because, you know, to them it didn't. Yandere Dev presumed that they didn't learn anything from the kicking when he then upgraded to a ban. Which, if I'm to butt in on this point, is kind of odd to me. What exactly was there to learn in the situation? You'll see later that Alex was under the impression that this person was like role-playing or something, so if they were acting normal, why ban them? Is that not what you wanted from them? Was he expecting an apology or something? I'm a bit confused on that point, but I digress. After the ban had been set, this infamous message was leaked. Alright, I've got to make a statement. I can't take DID seriously. I don't think it's a real thing. I think it's a made-up fantasy that some people indulge in as an excuse to occasionally roleplay as different people. I can't take it anymore, I can no longer pretend like it's not the weirdest, dumbest, cringiest thing ever. It makes me uncomfortable and creeps me out, and I don't want to see that weird crap in here anymore. I've made the decision to remove Chris from the server, I can no longer play along with someone's weird fantasies or pretend like their silly roleplaying is normal. Sheesh, that's a lot to unpack, but unpack I shall, starting with the line, I can't take DID seriously, I think it's a made-up fantasy. Doug, what do you mean you think it's made up? A simple two-second Google search will bring up pages of scientific studies research and concrete biological and psychological proof that this is, in fact, a real condition that people suffer from. I was not entirely familiar with the ins and outs of DID before I made this video, so you know what I did? I googled it and I am now slightly more educated on the subject. You can easily do the same. I really don't get why that's so hard. At this point in time, googling something is like literally one of the first things you do when you don't understand something. Then again, asking Yandere Dev to actually make an effort is already asking too much of him, so let's just move on to the other part of the statement being, I, I can no longer pretend like it's not the dumbest, cringiest thing ever and makes me uncomfortable and creeps me out and I don't want to see that weird crap anymore. Really, Alex. Dumb, cringy, and creepy. This is, without a doubt, one of the most deeply, profoundly, unadulterated, ironic statements I think I've ever read. The lack of self-awareness resonating from this single line is so powerful that I do not think words can do it justice. You talk about being dumb, cringy, and creepy when this clip of you exists. You did this live, on stream, within full view of God, Jesus, and everyone, and you decided that you had the right to say this. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, what a nice view. Mmm. Looking pretty good up there. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful. 
just beautiful. Also, you had your artist draw this, and there is that whole saga with your doll, and there is also the fact that your whole game revolves around underage girls, which you confirmed yourself, by the way, and one of the main forms of currency is upskirt shots. Face it, Yandere Dev, your entire online presence can be summed up in exactly the words you use to describe someone's legitimate mental illness. Keep in mind that this was a moderator that had been with him for two years, and someone who genuinely supports Alex for that long is a very rare person to come across these days. I'm just saying. And anyways, that about sums up my thoughts on the initial incident, so let's just get right into his responses on everything. The apple. What? Go ahead and try to hit me if you're able. Guess you figured out that much is a a few responses that Yandere Dev issued. One on his blog, another an apology to the user in question, as well as a conversation with a former moderator, the latter two just really highlighting the insincerity of the blog post. I'll go over the apology in a third segment because that's an ordeal and a half, so let's just get into the blog post first. It's rather lengthy, so I'll just read an abridged version while showing the full on screen. If you want to read it, you can pause, but basically Yandere Dev just says in this post that yes, he does believe DID to be a real thing, however, he does believe people fake mental illnesses. He says that one of his moderators claimed to have DID and that he supported him for multiple years, however, over time, his suspicions of that moderator began to mount, and it culminated in him reaching the conclusion that he was faking it as an excuse to roleplay any time he wanted to, and, you know, um, since faking a mental illness is like an awful thing to do, he banned him. Alex then goes on to detail how, for some reason, this one single situation led him to make the grand assumption that all people that do have DID are just people making it up as an excuse to roleplay. He then links the original screenshot of what he says and explains that he was very quote unquote fired up because he does believe that he had just caught someone faking and admitted his generalization was wrong and recognized that he should not have generalized everyone with the disorder in such a way. He describes the post as being written in a heated moment and is not an accurate reflection towards his true feelings on the topic. I'm going to read this one line directly from the post which reads, spreading the post and making the accusation that I'm ableist an example of how the anti Yandaridev community paints a false image of me without knowing the truth or details surrounding a situation. Put a little pin in that because I've actually come back to it, but to finish off my little summary, Alex ends the post with claims that he apologized for mishandling the situation and that he came out of the debacle with a better understanding of the disorder. We'll go over that apology in due time, but I do want to break this post down a little more. I'm going to be speaking here as if the DMs with another former mod of his weren't leaked, so I will be playing a bit of a hypothetical devil's advocate here. The post itself wasn't actually too awful, it's kind of bad, you know, especially because of the anti Yandere dev community line, but I do feel like it was right of him to admit that he shouldn't have generalized and that he mishandled the situation but I do find it very, very telling that his first instinct upon suspecting someone of faking a mental illness wasn't to talk to them or hell, even only write off their one case, but to just generalize an entire group of people. And of course, he had to slip in that bit about his antis because he just can't stop talking about them. From what I've seen, the details of the situation were as clear cut as it could get. The context you provided wasn't something that couldn't already be assumed. And you have shown yourself to be ableist in the past, making quite unflattering remarks about autistic people. So it's really not too far off the mark to assume that you still held similar prejudices. For the record, a lot of the things that the anti yandev community has said about you can easily be proved, including this situation. Now that I'm done pretending that this post is all that came out, allow me to get into the second layer of this because of course there's one. In this screenshot, you can see a conversation with a now former moderator known as Cleveland Rock. This conversation takes place in light of Yandev finding out about the screenshots that have been spreading and reads as follows. Man, you are a fucking scumbag. Do not contact people and try to get them to turn against me. What a fucking horrible piece of shit you are. The nicest person in your server, a, a person who loved you more than anything, just wrote a fucking note, all because you threw another temper tantrum. You're a horrible piece of shit. If someone is mentally unstable, you can't consider yourself responsible for the actions they take. Their actions aren't coming from a rational place of thought. So you don't fucking care that your biggest fan is on the verge of ending their life right now. I've already tried to smooth things out with him. If nothing I've done has helped, I'm not sure what else I can do. This guy has been talking about ending his life on a near daily basis for as long as I've known him. It's absolutely horrible, but he was always headed in that direction. It's a terrible feeling to gradually accept the fact that someone's um, life's ending is an eventuality, but after hearing him express those tendencies for over a year, even while being given all the emotional support available, what can I possibly be expected to do? Obviously, I don't want anyone to do that, but after a certain point, you just have to admit, well, this is completely out of my hands now. Jesus Christ, how can you accept such a thing? When you talk about ending your life daily for over a year, you just make the people around you numb to it. If someone says, I want to die for over a year, if I'm all surrounded by a ton of emotional support, then you have to eventually accept the fact that there's nothing you can do, their mental instability is in control, not you, so you have no control over whatever outcome happens. 
All right, yikes. I do not even know where to begin with this, but let's just start with the fact that Yandredev legitimately just does not care about one of his longtime supporters possibly ending his life. He's just saying, oh, it's out of my hands. Oh, I can't do anything, but you can. Your attempt at apology was piss poor, as we'll get into later. And if you heard about his note, you know what you can do? You can hop in his DMs and ask him about it. People do have varying capacities to handle others' emotions. I get that, but you could at least make a fucking effort to talk him out of it. Think about it. This guy just got put on blast by someone he looked up to, someone he was a fan of, and just continues to have his feelings invalidated by him due to something he can't control. To an extent, things can be out of your control, but the very, very least you can do is make the effort to let him know you care, and he's clearly in like a far more vulnerable state than he was later considering the note he wrote. I'll admit, I do not know the full extent of the conversations outside of these screenshots, but I generally do not think that there is context that could make these DMs look any better. As you probably heard, there's talk of this apology several times over in the video, so let's just take a look at this apology he's been falling back on. This was a statement issued from Alex to the moderator that had been banned due to the situation. He uses it as an excuse several times, but I genuinely don't think that holds up once you actually read the content, which I'm about to do. So in this apology, he says, sorry, I think I should have handled things differently. The first thing I should mention is that I am very, very skeptical about the validity of DID. Maybe DID is actually a real valid condition, but when someone claims they have seven plus quote unquote alters living inside of them, I think this does not sound like a real condition anymore. It sounds like something that a teenage kid does for attention or role playing. I didn't want to be mean, so for more than a year, I just tried to be supportive and tolerant. However, when he started doing that doppelganger thing and a voice call with other people, it exceeded my threshold for what I can tolerate because it prevented me from being able to simply hang out with other people in peace. Having to play along with someone's delusional fantasy in a voice call was so aggravating that when my patients finally ran out, I didn't want to talk it over, I just wanted to boot you out and not have to think about you anymore. Already the line that stands out to me the most is maybe DID is actually a real valid condition, but it just reads to me so strongly like he literally cannot under any circumstances admit he was wrong about something. If he actually bothered to read into the science of the disorder, he'd know why alters form and what causes them. The human mind is a very odd thing, and it doesn't work in a linear fashion. It's just so, so ignorant of him, and the rest of the apology wasn't much better. The guy literally just called him delusional to his face and said he was intolerable. You think, you know, that you would actually apologize or try to be nice, and you know, that he just didn't do that. That was not for him. The only thing he really apologized for was how he quote unquote thought he mishandled the situation. You didn't think you mishandled it, you did mishandle it through and through. There were a million other ways I can think of that would not have resulted in this happening and every step along the way, you just fumbled so hard. For example, it would have been very easy to simply ask the mod about his condition, and while it would have probably come off really rude, asking first and opening yourself up to a discussion would have yielded a much less explosive outcome than just straight up kicking the guy. He could have explained the disorder, how it functions, and you could have listened and the whole thing simply could have been avoided from the get-go. You could have issued him a public apology, which, albeit optional, would have been a lot more sincere, and the apology could have, you know, not belittled him, and you could have explained your thoughts in a non-demeaning way, admitting DID is a real thing, and apologizing for mishandling the situation, doubting him, and falsely banning him. You could have simply chose to let sleeping dogs lie and simply not kick him in the first place, and then try to put the incident aside. I'm kind of an expert when it comes to making bad decisions when I'm heated that later come back to bite him in the ass, so believe me when I say that you really, really should cool off before saying something. It was not a wise move at all to continue to double down on the point that he was being delusional and bothersome, especially when you hold a position of power over said individual and you know they look up to you. Anyways, there was a lot of information that I simply didn't go over here because it wasn't critical to the main points I wanted to make here, but if you want to read the full thing in depth, I recommend checking out the Reddit post that I linked in the description. It's where I got all the information in this video, and it's highly detailed, so it's a great source of all the nitty gritties I didn't have time to cover. But yeah, with that being said, that's where I'll be ending things today, so let's just roll the outro. Conclusion, Yandere Dev has once more proved himself to be a very, very unpleasant individual. If you still support him, I can't force you into liking him. All I ask of you is that you just take this video and all the information about Alex into very careful consideration, and perhaps just simply reevaluate your support. If you conclude that despite all this, you're still willing to support him, that's on you, the information's on the table, and you can make your own choice. Anyways, without further ado, I'll be ending this video. If you liked, be sure to, you know, like it, and if you want to see more content similar in the future, be sure to subscribe. It's free and a win-win for both of us. My commissions are still open if you want to get one of those, and if not, you can always just follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, or DeviantArt. I post my art there so you can get some extra content on the side. All links will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.